All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting underway. Utah, put your head over to the right a little more. Put your head over to the right a little bit more. Yeah, right there is perfect. Roxo, welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Roxo says hi to everybody. <laughs> All right, we're getting underway with Utah versus Storm Round Robin. This is actually going to be Utah's last match before he has to fight me. Storm will have one more match after this. Okay, right off the bat, Storm going in right with the blades. Trying to set himself up. Vortex going to do a little bit of chip damage. Not quite enough yet. Charge Jump X not going to do anything off of that. Nice job from Storm. He's pinned Utah up against the wall. Gets the Thunderbolt stun. And big damage so far coming out from, from Storm. Blades again. Storm does have burst ready. But Vortex going to come out. That's actually a perfect. Without Storm using his own HP. That was really fast. <laughs> Utah paying too much attention to his phone and not enough attention to the match. Ooh, nice double team through the blades, but homing attack's gonna come right through. Nice damage from Storm. Goes for the earthquake, jumps right over the counter from Utah. In este. <laughs> In este lucha. <laughs> Pikachu Libre no tiene mucho daño. Alright, nice burst coming out from Storm. He's just going to set himself up for a little bit of chip damage. Not a whole lot. Burst going to come out from Utah as well. He's going to pop his Mew. Get just the attack buff. Nice stun from Storm. Getting the Thunderbolt. Not going to get the wall splat. J Jump Charge X coming out. He's going to go right into burst. Oh, and the walk up grab from Utah. Gonna do quite a nice bit of damage here, putting Storm below half. Storm tries to go for the grab, it's not quick enough. Gonna get punished, but beautiful job catching the counter frames, or the vulnerable frames there, and Sand Attack from Utah is gonna take it. All right, Storm still using that Espeon uh, support. Not a bad option, because he does like to use a lot of attacks that require HP. He loves to go for that jump charge X. Utah going in for some nice attacks. Storm gonna go straight into burst here. Oh, and the light attacks. Not doing anything. Not connecting there. Looks like Storm did just run out. Nice follow up off the pillar. Ooh, gets hit. Not enough. Charge X, Charge Jump X, sets himself right up into Vortex. This is going to be a beautiful punish coming up from Utah. Mucho daño. So I'm in a really tough position right now. Mew's going to be popped. He does have the crit buff, but homing attack's going to come out and almost give Storm his burst back. He is back into where he needs to be. Earthway's going to come out. Can this be enough damage from Utah? And this might take it. 12 HP. Oh, and that's going to take game number one for Utah. Wow, that was really close. <laughs> All right, so Utah is locked into Libre. We're going to see if he can keep up the momentum that he just gained in that third match or that third round. All right, Storm still sticking to Shadow Mewtwo. And he may have changed up his supports here. I do like the Espeon pick. I think it's a really good option to get his health back, get clear any of those debuffs. A lot of Chandelure play, uh, players do the same thing. All right, still sticking the Espeon. Tries to go for some Miracle Eye shenanigans. Not going to work for him. Just going to float right over. Utah get a nice punish off of it too. Puts him up against the wall, goes for Vortex, pinning him against there. Tries to go for some dual blades. Nice job from Utah getting Electro Wave. 
Electricidad web. <laughs> Nice try from Storm. He's going to try and follow up. He does get the full powered counter, but it doesn't connect all the way through like he wanted. Tries to go for some blades oh, and, and grab. It's not going to work out for him. Electroweb's going to come out and take this first round in game two. Nice dual blade's going to come out from Storm. Still a little bit of damage. Nice throw in. I don't think Utah was expecting that, but he does follow up after this one. Misses the Electroweb confirm. Storm no longer, uh, lo no longer going for that awkward punch. Just trying to do as much chip as he can, but beautiful job. Just shielding all that from, <laughs> from Utah. Nice follow up. Does he get the sand attack? He actually whiffs. The Electroweb, nice punish from Storm. A little bit of decent damage here. No burst from either player. Nice job from Storm. He, he does get the follow-up out for that JX. Nice job following up after the double team. And Dual Blaze is going to come out and take the round off of Utah. This is match point for Utah, but Storm has a chance to bring it back. Nice job <laughs> using a Miracle Eye to break through that double team. Both players have have burst. Storm immediately going for his own. Interesting choice. Sand Attack's going to come out. Double Sand Attack. This not going to punish. Burst is going to come right out for Utah. He tries to go for the Earthquake. He does get the follow-up. Nice job from Storm. He's going to pin him up against the wall. Vortex coming out, breaking the counter. Utah in a really tough position. SBL is going to come out, get himself back a little bit more help. Miracle Eye to stop the rest of that double team. Dual Blades going to stop double team once again. Utah in a really scary position, but that is going to come straight through. And Storm catches the vulnerable frames and takes the next round. It is now 1 1. Storm versus Utah. All right, Utah pondering his life right now. He says, my decisions, should I go Gardevoir? He says, I'm about to lose. <laughs> no, he sticks with Free Bray. Okay. Looking to potentially change up his supports here. Are you talking to me? Oh. All right, sticking with the Libre. Very risky option here from Utah. These matches have been super, super clutch. Um, Storm being really good about how he approaches, how he gets those setups of, about that double team. And it does look like Utah has decided to switch to the Jirachi Whimsicott play. This are uh, supports. This is not a bad choice. Um, Whimsicott does protect against uh, a few of the projectiles that Storm may throw out. But he does actually opt to go more for the Jirachi, which is pretty smart on his part. Homing attack going to come out from Storm. It's not going to stop. Utah from getting that punish. Nice follow up from Utah. He does get the sand attack into Electro Web. All right, a decent amount of damage done here. Looks like Storm just barely whiffing the dual blades. <laughs> Almost every attack that he's been trying to do has been kind of flopping on him, including that one. This is actually death. Almost a straight up perfect for Utah. You can see a total adjustment in Utah's gameplay against Storm in that last match. Or last round. Alright, nice grab coming out from Storm. 
Sets himself up for the Miracle Eye. He's trying to stop any kind of approaches. Nice flip over Utah there. Earthquake flipping over once again. He stops him with just a small jab and the counter comes straight through. The tides have changed for Storm right now. He did try to go for the Vortex setup, but he failed it a little bit there. All right, nice grab coming out from Utah. Counter coming in through. He does get it. Only a small smidgen of health left for Utah. Storm going straight into burst. Utah activating his own burst as well. Storm trying to go for the dual blades. This is gonna hurt a lot. Big damage coming out from Utah. Storm gonna activate Espeon right away. Smart option from his part. Dual Blades coming through. <gasps> Homing attack. Not gonna be enough. The attack and... <gasps> but Vortex comes out and that's gonna take the next round. This is match point for both players here. Nice job from Utah. C80 things right through that. Storm tries to go for the jump uh, charge X. Not enough. Nice grab coming out from Utah. The tides have changed a little bit in this match. Beautiful job getting that fully charged counter. Fully charged counter coming out from Storm as well. He does opt to go for the Espeon. Gets the follow up after that. Thank you. All right, a little bit of Miracle Eye. Storm does decide to go straight into burst here. Utah activating his own burst as well as Jirachi. <gasps> Storm tried to go for his burst. This is a big chance. Oh, and Storm just barely loses out to Utah. That's going to be a 2-1 going in Utah's favor. Storm, stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> 